I've been a professional artist now for almost five years. Before uh, starting to work as a full-time artist, I uh, tried a lot of things. Uh, I made surfboards for about five years. I had my own surfboard company. I didn't make any money um, and sold it. Uh, and then I was also involved in the classic car industry, uh, you know, customizing cars and bikes and. Uh, especially with airbrushing and uh, customizing uh, Harleys uh, for clients, that sort of thing. Yeah, for almost also about five or seven years. I paint portraits because I really love people's faces. I, uh, I find people's faces extremely interesting. Um, and not always pretty faces. For me, it's not really about painting people with perfect features and proportions and that sort of thing. I actually often look for faces that have little flaws in them. Uh, maybe a nose that most people would consider a little big or, uh, or that sort of thing. Uh, I, I do have a fondness of, of large eyes and luscious lips. Um, so you, you probably often see that a lot of, a lot of my models that I use have quite quite big eyes, especially for me. Eyes are very important. Um, yeah, so and uh, portraits I paint because I really just uh, I love faces and, and how people connect to to portraits. Uh, my style, if I have to explain it, it is uh, definitely quite expressive, um, but at the same time also still very representative. Uh, uh, I use quite bold strokes with paint brushes and palette knives and that sort of thing. Uh, often just throwing paint on a canvas and let it just run down. Uh, so in parts it's quite messy, but in parts it's also quite detailed, um, uh, especially around the person's features, you know, the eyes and that sort of thing. Uh, it's often quite detailed. Um, lately I've been experimenting with obscuring features a little bit. Uh, I just felt that um, it makes it a bit more interesting to look at and it actually it, it makes the viewer ask a bit more questions when, when they look at my paintings. My work, I really just want to do beautiful paintings. Um, I do have a tendency to do work where, you know, most of our subjects have my poker faces, there's no real emotion. But in, I think in the process, in, in the technique that I use and the way that I interpret um, you know, my own paintings, they do come across quite, quite somber. And I think in, in most cases, uh, subjects look a little bit sad, um, but definitely not happy. I, I just don't do happy paintings. I just don't. You know, happy is a very singular emotion. And uh, what I like to provoke in my paintings is I actually like people to, to wonder a little bit, you know, about the subject's condition. Um, certainly in some works, the subjects do look a little bit disturbed, but that is intentional. Um, uh, ultimately, what I'm looking for is for people just to connect with my work, you know, to be able to look at it. If I do get to wonder a little bit about my work, then I feel I've succeeded. Progression is a, is a is a fascinating thing, and it's uh, you know what I've what I've experienced over the last two years, especially is that um, I would be painting, and um, 
getting the whole process, I would just try something new, maybe just a different angle with a palette knife, uh, placing paint in a place where I haven't done that before. Um, and um, I've actually experienced what I call fuck yeah moments, where you would just try something, and I would stand back and look at it and I go, fuck oh, yeah, that, that looks amazing. It just, that for some reason it just works. So, um, and that is all part of progression, you know, it's, it's, it's basically experimenting um, and finding what works and learning new things. And uh, it's, a, it's a very exciting phase when, when an artist goes through a progression uh, or a very progressive uh, stage. And I've, I've been fortunate, especially over the last few years, that my work has progressed rapidly. Uh, for me, that is, that is very exciting. You know, every artist has a process. Every artist has uh, to some degree a formula uh, from start to finish, whether you're a sculptor or a painter or whatever you do. Um, my process is a quite an extensive one where, you know, you choose your subject, you take photographs, edit photographs, um, before you even start, so um, it's it's a lot. It's it's a, it's a long process, and I think a lot of people often don't realize it. Uh, a lot of people just look at the finished result and they don't really uh, see what has gone into creating art. Um, uh, there are aspects of my process that that is very difficult to explain because uh, there are sometimes the real intricacies, like how do you and this is a question that I get a lot. A lot of people ask me, you know, explain your process. I get people email me and, and ask me to teach them how to paint. But you know, I don't, I'm not a teacher. Uh, I just, I just paint. And um, to explain my process is, is a really, really difficult thing. Um, I stick to the basic rules of painting, but um, that, that is as far as explaining it I can do. Um, yeah, and then my process is something that keeps evolving. You know, but, uh, a year from now, there will be there will be different aspects in my process of creating my paintings than there is now. What motivates and inspires me is, uh, you know, people people to a large extent motivate me. You know, I, I I see really fantastic and interesting thing in, in people's faces and, and again uh, that's that's probably why I'm drawn to doing portraits so much. Um, you know looking at a person's face is it's really uh, it's like it's like reading a book. There's chapters and there's you know there's highlights and lowlights and it's uh, character and it's uh, that's what interests me and that's uh, to a large extent kept me motivated is simply because I love people's faces. Um, the fact that we have expressions, you know, expressions change all the time. Um, it's, it's, it's really an endless pit of, of inspiration to me. Who buys my work um, at the moment in South Africa with our economy? Uh, it's, it's mostly foreigners. Um, um, I know that a lot of uh, people from, from Europe, clients from, clients from Europe, um, Switzerland, the UK, Germany, uh, the States. Uh, I've had clients from Australia. Um, so yeah, I think I think anybody that has an appreciation for portraits, uh, and maybe more specifically the style in which I work in, which is uh, quite expressive and energetic, um, yeah, buys my work. I'm going to a very exciting time where I now have a representation in the UK, finally, after about two years of struggling to get into uh, the international market. So that's the that's, uh, uh, doors opening up and something that I'm very excited about. Um, and uh, I'm working currently on a very big project for the UK, which I can't really elaborate on, but. Um, well, it's a brand new market. Um, the South African market, uh, I'm, I'm pretty well established in, but I'm really looking forward at uh, moving into the international market. I think deciding to be an artist was never really a choice. Uh, I 
I've always been artistic as a kid in one form or another, whether I was drawing pictures with crayons or building stuff out of wood, making surfboards, uh, you know, airbrushing cars and bikes. Those are all, you know, artistic ventures that I've had in my life. Um, so no, I, th I think I was, I was just, I was a born artist, but I've only really discovered um, a love for painting uh, about seven or eight years ago. Um, and I wish I had discovered it earlier because, um, you know, I think, I think that was what I was, was destined to do.